Montpellier in southern France has a range of attractive factors for young startups. The pleasant climate, the old alleyways, and the armies of students. And it's here where Rachel Delacour's story took off. Eight years ago, she founded a startup in Montpellier, offering young software engineering students in the city a job. Today, she heads a company with over 40 employees, and she's a star of the startup scene. You're proud of uh, having built, built things, you know, and uh, of value. It has also been super painful, <laughs> super difficult. Since the beginning, we were telling ourselves, okay, it's a marathon, it's a marathon. And through time, you know, you realize that, yes, you've achieved this milestone. A milestone Delacour reached in fall 2015. Her company, BIME, was snapped up by California-based software firm Zendesk for $45 million. Overnight, Delacour has become one of the most successful tech sector entrepreneurs in France. She developed a program that processes company data and displays the results in a clearly understandable format, with everything stored online in the cloud. Delacour had found a significant gap in the business intelligence services market. She's gotten used to recounting her story, how she made it in the mostly male world of startups, being invited to a business delegation touring the U.S. with President Francois Hollande, and how she learned that being a woman can also be an opportunity. Uh, in a conference where there is only male on stage, you are by default catching some attention by default and it's a super um, it's a fantastic differentiator when you are launching your business I've been completely opportunistic and that's fine to say that to acknowledge that I used my gender for that and that's fine I'm proud of that you know being able to use this difference that's completely fine Delacour has perfected the art of juggling a range of roles and reinventing herself she's frequently in the US on business Back home, her business partner and company co-founder is now her husband. They have two young children. At first, it's all mingled together uh, big time. Uh, but the more you learn about your business, the more you learn about how to handle your relationship. But when Rachel is traveling, most of the time I take care of the kids, but that's, that's fine. I mean, that's, that's a good thing, actually. Uh, I have my dedicated time with them. Uh, which is great. I've never been particularly frustrated by the, the time I was spending uh, uh, in the US, for example, because I know that their father is doing a great job as well. We are two parents, this is why it's great to be two, <laughs> you know, to, be a, to be a couple, to deal with the company, to deal with the kids, to deal with the team. And uh, no, it's a, it's a great balance. France has a good reputation when it comes to career development opportunities for women due to its parent-friendly state childcare programs. After all, why should having children put your career on hold? Yet the startup scene is still dominated by men. Stories like Rachel's are an absolute rarity, one of a successful businesswoman who also advises other startups. This evening, one of France's large innovation centers is hosting a presentation event for startups. Rachel Delacour and consultant Gaël Autain weigh up the concepts, always hoping that more women will come out of the shadows. There's a distinct air of Silicon Valley here, the laid-back but creative working environment, just how the boss wants it. Some of her staff have known her for years. One of the defining factors behind her success, they say, is her power of persuasion for selling her own ideas. That tenacity, her ability to sort of muscle in and make sure she's there uh, in front of the right people at the right time, um, you know, definitely contributed a huge amount to, you know, to, to what happened and to where we are at the minute, I think. Rachel Delacour will soon be heading back off to the U.S. Being an acclaimed female entrepreneur has made her something of a feminist symbol. And whether she likes it or not, she's become an inspiration to others. I did it. Why not other women? Really, why not other? I did it.